Be to all students of BA final year, after the completion of the Merchant of Venice, you must have learned a lot. Unit A. Now, you would study Unit B. Your focus must always be on the real learning. Actually, what do you learn? You just ask yourself. And you put a question. And so far as communication skills are concerned, or thematic aspect, or poetic justice, or the treasure of virtues, or the purpose of life. Okay? So, you switch on your mind. This must be always very, very prominent for you. It is not confined to one or two aspect. Be a responsible human being. And this is exactly the purpose of poetry. Yes, of course. See, in unit B, you will be overwhelmed when you articulate the word poetry. There is some, you know, positive vibration. See, in all the domains of literature, be, uh, see, in the genres, literary genres, be drama, uh, prose section or fiction, I mean, all the different genres, literary genres, you, you really learn a lot. But you must accept the universal truth that you feel difference when you study poetry. So this is really the intensity of emotions with prudence, which is great contribution to the society. You always feel connected with the society. So this is 15 poets, mind you students, it is prescribed in your syllabus and this text is very important and it must be accessible, Oxford University Press publication and uh, the, uh, the, in the syllabus, you have poets like uh, Tennyson, Coleridge, Dryden, Milton. And whenever we, in this particular unit, you know, and even when, when we would uh, switch over to unit C also, that is also Indian English poetry. But first of all, uh, you must have in your mind that poetry is universal. We are not bound by geographical periphery. What is the reason behind it? See, as I, uh, I have mentioned this point at the beginning, when you articulate the word poetry, see, it strikes in your mind and what does it strike? Yes, poetic truth, poetic beauty, poetic justice. And you see, our purpose is here when you study this particular unit and also unit C. This is, you know, unit B is poetry. So you must do away with the misconception. It's not just, you know, confined to imagination. No. It is integrated with reality. The facts of human life. See here, have a look. Very important points when you study poetry. Now the conception of poetry. It is, mind you students, you must remember, it is an integral part of your life. And see, when we talk about poetic truth, expression of truth, human experiences, and the poet, you know, uh, he or she possesses remarkable imaginative vision. So this is the point here, you know, and the purpose of life. It also, you know, gives you, explicates you, rather, inspires you for what yes giving the meaning of life what is the purpose of human existence and therefore we have 
ट्रेजर ऑफ मल्टी डायमेंशनल आस्पेक्ट बी सोशल कल्चरल पॉलिटिकल रिलीजियस एथिकल जोग्राफिकल यूनिवर्सल एंड फेमिलियर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यस सो इट इज इन अ वे इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड विथ all aspects of human life we have you know amphitic forces and we must know actually what is the purpose of human life and therefore see the meaning of human existence and uh, see uh when we talk about uh poetry one important point strikes in our mind and what is that important point it is you know in meter see the word meter is very important metrical composition for instance if i give you example of william wordsworth as yeah this is nice activity i told you earlier whenever you know when we start any uh, literary piece or say uh, when we meet different poets see actually this is a sort of meeting we live with them you sh- you must have this kind of feeling you have already met william shakespeare now this is we have quality time with galaxy of poets see the time when they lived and they you know uh, they had given great contribution to the society so this much of feeling you must have all the time and we must have deep reverence to them for their yes contribution and uh, see when in the the first point when i discuss the integral part of life and purpose of life when you see have you ever thought what is the purpose of your life and see it is not confined to your daily routine and you get up and you do this and that you have some goal of your life and yes poetry suggest you poetry inspires you to relate yourself with society and therefore we have you know the meaning of human existence and meter when we talk about now the meaning we will you know discuss all these points in much detail but this is just you know warming up session when we uh, you know delve deep in the poetical connotations which gives you poetic beauty also and the expression of truth and at the same time poetic justice and as in you know shakespearean famous celebrated drama the merchant of venice we discuss poetic justice and celebration of you know goodness and virtues yeah it's there in the poetry as well so meter means there is some kind of rhythm it's you know rhythmic composition and when we talk about rhythm see we have a different meaning of the word rhythm some kind of you know melody tune and some uh, we have some recurrent pattern i would give you an example for that for instance uh, take example as i have just told you william wordsworth's famous poem uh see uh, daffodils for often when on my couch i lie in vacant and in pensive mood the flash upon my inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils or this is or say another example from, from solitary ripper these are very nice examples for instance i listen motionless less i mean this is when when i up the mountain hill music in my heart i pour long after it was heard no more okay and i listen motion less and still when i up the mountain hill the music in my heart i pour long after it was heard no more so 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 the still and hill so this is the rhyming scheme so try to understand this uh, in very very say uh, easier way i mean this is the simple way to comprehend the beauty of poetry we have some rhythmic pattern recurrent and some kind of tune and melody in that and that's why we have you know 
variety of uh, poetry that we would discuss in detail uh, in detail uh, uh, later on i mean we have you know lyrics and we have sonnets and you must have studied this you know and we have ballad and we have epic poetry we have odes yes kinds of poetry so meter metrical composition this is i mean structural part is one of the important aspects but we have another significant aspects also i mean the thematic aspect i mean poetry it's not just you know limited to the this structural pattern only we have rhyme scheme i mean identical you know this uh, sound in the end that is that you know as you are students of third year still i mean your deeper understanding regarding all this is very very significant in uh, for your examination and also for your personal enrichment so this kind of you know uh, then you know you learn a lot uh, apart from this also. i mean this is very very significant uh, point when we uh, say study when we delve deep in political aspects political forces of human life i mean life itself this is this you know unfolds the meaning of life and see actually i would like to you know uh, give you example see if you perceive a tree and see the difference between the layman and the poet now poet possesses extraordinary sensibility and sensitivity okay and he or she is filled with tremendous ideas and he would he would feel like writing which which would be a great contribution to the society and when when we read uh, these kinds of poems we are highly inspired so see this is the purpose of that and if you see a tree i mean a layman may not may not express properly so the purpose is that po- the poet you know possesses extraordinary sensibility and remarkable imaginative vision now students it is a must to understand the concept of imaginative vision now it's not away from reality in fact as i told you in the beginning it is an expression of truth you know the significance of truth in your life imagination so there is paradox in that i mean people generally uh, from different domains they have this kind of misconception that you know it's just uh, an expression of imagination and all they are even reality not at all i mean i would like to address from the core of my heart that poetry gives you the meaning of life integral part of your life why what is the reason behind it because of humanitarian approach yes and it angles social as i told you know social cultural and we have geographical ethical political religious economical different aspects of human life social societal setup i mean that kind of picture we have and therefore you know this is very very important students mind you for because you should know that when you start studying poetry my students i always expect that this much of deeper understanding you must have and as in the beginning i uh, i have told you that we are overwhelmed when we articulate the word poetry it is mother for us okay you know it gives you protection it is source of inspiration for you and this creativity in human life is a must what is the reason because it is an expression of love i mean what is going on uh, in the society i mean what is actually happening in the society you must be connected with that and that's why when you perceive i mean if you know somebody is suffering the poet is the first person not only to shed the tears but to bring about radical change in the society see if 
somebody uh, reads a poem, recites a poem, then at the time, his, his or her mind can be changed in positive way. So we have positive dynamism in poetic expression. Is that clear, students? Uh, another point when, uh, see, uh, do you remember when I uh, touched the point meter, we would discuss in much detail also, you know, uh, you know, this is the verse, V-E-R-S-E. -E. So this is, you know, metrical composition when we talk about some kind of rhythm and rhythmic pattern. Uh, you know, so the word recitation is very important. So there is difference between reading and recitation. You recite the poem with you know modulation we high pitch and you know then how to you know speak with the intonation some aesthetic expressions with pauses in a high pitch and low pitch and the, this is you know rising and falling tone this is called modulation okay so for instance uh, another example from because you read this poem last year Tinto and Abe. so i would like to give you example of that poem for your better understanding uh, you know, deeper understanding. I have felt a presence that disturbed me with a joy, elevated thought, sense sublime, far more deeply interfused, who is dwelling in the setting of the sun. So, I mean, this is the way, some kind of, and this, uh, and uh, you must also know this fact. See, if you uh, recite something, or if you read something, or if you uh, comprehend some important issues in poetic way, poetic expression. See, it would definitely touches your heart. It definitely touches your heart. It would definitely, yes, would have great appeal for you. You know, universal appeal. It is not confined to an individual. The poet tends to rise from personal to general. From individual to global, from one to all. So this is because, what is the reason? Because it would touch the core of your heart. Definitely. And at that time, if you feel inspired, see, the see is all these problems from the society. Nowadays, you know, this uh, uh, electronic media and print media i mean this is full of crime everywhere and see the graph is increasing day by day and you cannot parry out you cannot avoid it you are really moved with that see the different cases of crime and sin every day and the purpose of poetry is to bring about radical change in the society with uh, say positivity with love and harmony in the society and see the people I mean see the uprooting the all these evils from the society and therefore we have reflection of virtues as I told you in the beginning we have poetic truth and poetic beauty this is really poetic beauty beauty is not just say some word which which is outward you know confined to outward beauty and all that Beauty in which you have virtues, you have quality and you have fellow feelings for other. You have, say, compassion, the spirit of uh, humanitarian and this humanistic values you have. This is beauty. So that is the point here. And which is again integrated with poetic justice, obviously. So the idea underlying is that it really signifies the justification of human life. And it is meant for the whole mankind. And see, Ravindranath Tagore's poem, when we uh, talk about poetry, when we discuss, when we delve deep, see, we must have galaxy of poets in our mind. It must, you know, indelibly imprint with our mindset. Ravindranath Tagore, when, you know, this is his Gitanjali, have you ever heard his steps, he comes, comes, ever comes. And when mind is without fear, you know, this is also, all these poems, the poems in which, for instance, Sarojini Naidu's poem. So this is a sort of activity for you. You have review. 
that uh, we have yes i remember this poem students this is you just ask yourself whether i remember this poem or this is the famous quotation from say robert browning's poem in which uh, god is in heaven and all is right with the world this kind of expression and then we have expression of and and then you know so this is uh, for instance uh, it is reminiscent of a famous uh, expression Uh, by see uh, theodore watts dunton when he has uh, uh, expressed that and you must students remember this famous expression by t h e o d o r e okay watts dunton and absolute poetry is the concrete and artistic expression of the human mind in emotional and rhythmical language thank you we'll continue